everyone. Happy Friday night. Welcome to the February 5th eBay break here, Breaking Boxes with Scotty. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I do appreciate it. I know there's a lot of breakers out there, so thank you for checking out Breaking Boxes with Scotty. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, I do encourage you to check out the Facebook group, Breaking Boxes with Scotty. We do some breaks there also. But uh, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, we're just a couple minutes early, so we'll kind of hang out and give everyone a chance to join in. All right, good. Facebook's working tonight. We couldn't get it to stream to Facebook last night. We were YouTube only, but looks like tonight we'll be live on both. Excellent. I love opening these jerseys. <laughs> Let's see what we get. I want to pull that one. I've seen it come out. I've seen someone pull that, open that jersey. That's nuts. I would hate to do the random on that, though. God. Perfect season. I, any of those. God. Yeah, there's some cool stuff in there. It's like the helmets. You just never know, man. You might get something crazy. Valiant with the eight autos. I love that. I was just talking to somebody about grading cards before the break. Of course, Valiant comes with a graded card, so got to like that. But yeah, should be a good break tonight. Not a monster, but should be solid all the way through. So we'll get started here in uh, just another minute or two. Of course, a couple days away from the big game, and then we can all start thinking about next year. <laughs> a little different feeling for me this year in my brownies. Feel much better about uh, headed into next year than I have in past seasons. <laughs> or at least uh, this year I feel like it's uh, well-founded optimism, not just blind hope. All right, everybody, we'll get started in just a minute here. Like I said, just, uh, just try to give everybody a chance to get join in if they like. Try to always watch uh, eBay for a minute. I'm sure nobody's trying to get a hold of me. <laughs> so we'll get started here in just a moment. Do, 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 do. So who's everybody picking for Sunday? That's the million dollar question. You hear Jets fan? <laughs> well, yeah, hey, you know, I this is a really, really critical point for them. I mean, you've got a high draft pick again. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> um I think they should stick with Darnold for a little longer. Now I haven't watched a ton of in play, so I'm not – I just don't think two years is enough to really judge a guy who was on a bad team. Jason, what's going on? And, you know, if they were picking number one, you take Trevor Lawrence. I have no qualm – no no problem with that. Picking number two, though, I don't know, man. Unless you just think one of those guys is – all that. I just think there's question marks about all the guys after Trevor Lawrence, so – and I you trade down if somebody desperately wants them or just trade us, you know, draft a stud. They need help all over. Well, if you could get Watson, yeah, that's a different story. That's a different story. But obviously that's going to cost you. The problem is you get Watson with how much you have to give up to get him. Can you, can you build the team around him that you need to, you know? That's the problem. You give up multiple first-round picks for a guy like that and good players, and you better have a team that's ready to go. <laughs> I just don't know that the Jets are there, you know. But with those extra draft picks and whatnot, they could improve very quickly. They get the right mix in there, but we'll see. All right, everybody, we're a couple minutes after, so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and uh, – do the team ownership. Yeah, that's kind of where I am, Curtis. Since you can't get one of the top studs out there, try to build the best team you can around Darnold and see what see what happens. All right, so we've got uh, Arizona Cardinals tonight. It's Jason Wrigley. Good to see you, Jason. Uh, Justin Moore picked up the Falcons tonight, and Gabe Brown is on the Baltimore Ravens. We've got Michael Count picked up the Buffalo Bills and Ryan Supple on the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Robert Casper is here on the Bears tonight, and Chris Maxfield picked up the Bengals. Good luck, Chris. Uh, Dallas Eggleston grabbed the Browns and the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Brad Lyles picked up the Broncos and Jacob Allenball on the Detroit Lions. Uh, Jason Sherubel on the Green Bay Packers. And then Brad Lyles also grabbed the Texans. 
Uh, Jason also grabbed the Colts, and then Brad also has Jacksonville. Uh, Josh Graber on the Kansas City Chiefs, and Jason also has the Raiders. Uh, Andrew Malara on the Chargers, and Rebecca Palmer picked up the Rams. Chris Maxfield also picked up the Dolphins, and uh, Jay Van Castle is on the Vikings. Good to see you, Jay. Paul Boisenault, I hope I didn't kill that too bad, Paul, on the New England Patriots. And then we've got David Luna on the Saints. Uh, Jay Van Castle also picked up the Giants. Uh, Curtis Southwick on his Jets. Barbara Sowers picked up the Eagles. Curtis Stru or Carson Struve, I'm sorry, on the Steelers. Uh, Justin Moore also grabbed the Niners. And David Luna also grabbed the Seahawks. Justin also is on the uh, Buccaneers. Leonardo Nero grabbed his uh, Titans. And Josh Puebla is on the Washington football team. So thank you all so much for joining me again tonight. I do appreciate it. Like I said, I know a lot of options out there. So thank you for checking out Breaking Boxes with Scotty. And, uh, yeah, let's get this party started. Whoops, let me do one last check here. Make sure we good. Make sure if there's somebody trying to get a hold of me to find the break live, they can. So, all right, looks like we're good right now, so let's get going. Um, let's see, so we're going to take the jersey and just set that all the way in the back out of the way for now. And get my uh, autograph stand out here. And display our hits as we get them. All right. These guys, Don Russ, will give you something to lean on there. If you're heavy. Kind up there. Let's start with the uh, mosaic. Mosaic's a good stuff, but it's a mega, so there's no guarantees on the hits. We know on Don Russ and Valiant, we'll get hits. So we can uh, keep our fingers crossed here on mosaic. But hey, that's right, Chris. Go big or go home, right? Go big or go home. I got one more Origins up there, so that, that 20101 may be lurking still. <laughs> we can hope, right? I was looking through that today. I saw the Origins. I was like, oh, yeah, Chris needs that 101. All right. There we have it. Uh, Ten packs out of these Megas. Four cards in each. Go ahead and get these guys open. Like I said, no guarantees of autos or anything like that, but they do. There are retail autos out there, so. But we know we'll get our prisms. I'm going to get some more uh, prism megas. Those hobbies are just, whew. Then we've got uh, Donruss Optic coming. Uh, Contenders Optics coming out soon. But Limited is on deck. Panini One. Plates and Patches. Just trying to think. Saw somebody today post some pictures from NFL National Treasures and Encased. So apparently those are coming, but I haven't seen any release dates. So I don't know. They're going to be releasing 2020 sets. I mean, I've seen some of the release dates going out to uh, <laughs> March already. So if they're still doing sets, I mean, well into March. So, you know, usually by then they're looking at 2021 with like contenders draft and stuff. So I don't know. Let's see. Chris says just pencil me in for that one. I'll, uh, I'll try to let you know when I'm going to, when I'm going to put that last box of origins up, Chris. <laughs> I'll try to remember and let you know when it's coming. All right, everybody. So there we go. <laughs> One seriously curved card near the top there. That cracks me up. Those prisms sometimes, man. <laughs> but you put them in a top loader and they'll straighten out. All right, everybody. Oh, got here. Thanks again for joining me tonight and good luck. Let's get this party started. All right, start off a little Kyler Kyler. We've got a Jacob Eason on the rookie. Sorry, I just try not to touch the fronts too much on these super shiny cards. All right. There we go. How about a Jared Stidham on the prism? Not any more than I have to. So we'll get a little New England going there to pull. 
we'll sit them there. And then very nice. We've got a prism version of the touchdown masters, which are cool cards. <laughs> Seriously. Look at that curve. Whew. Oops. Yeah. The touchdown masters are cool and they're even cooler on the prism. And this one goes out to Carolina on the run CMC. So Ryan, nice Christian McCaffrey touchdown masters. It's uh you know what? I'm going to start this guy off in a 55. I'll send him to you in a 55. <laughs> Top loader will help it, but I don't want to push it too much by putting it in a 35 point. Yeah, even the 55. So there you go. That is a beautiful card. There's a, like I said, it's a cool insert and it's super cool and it's a prism. So congrats. <laughs> Nice little CMC. Jeez, just the optic packs out of the hobbies. That's insane. I'm curious. I've seen what the websites are pre-selling them for. Curious to see what Panini is going to put them up for. All right. Jared Stidham and a Hall of Fame on a Kevin Green. All right, Barry Sanders on the Hall of Fame Prism. Yeah, I know the websites are selling them for like 900 so. <laughs> Panini might be a little cheaper than that. Man, getting crazy. Last year, Flawless was the only thing that was anywhere close to a grand. But an old school Thurman Thomas going out to Buffalo. And a Tyler Eifert for the Bengals. Got a uh, Tyler Johnson rookie going out to Tampa Bay. And Justin. And our next prism, very nice. How about a little Peyton Manning for the Colts? So very nice. Goes out to Jason. All right, little Peyton Peyton. We've got a rookie of Derek Brown. Is that? Yeah, that is. That's a silver prism. They're usually turn the opposite direction. But a silver prism of Derek Brown. So that is Carolina. So Carolina starting off good. There you go, Ryan. In the uh, run CMC prism and the Derek Brown silver. Very nice. Got a uh, Steve Largent. There we go. NFL debut of J.K. Dobbins. And that is Baltimore and Gabe. The next prison then is a Joe Namath. Oh, wow. We got two touchdown master prisms. That's unusual. It's not unusual to get two inserts, two of them, and one mega. It is unusual to get two of them to be prisms, so. though. All right. So Joe Namath, I mean, right? Oh, yeah. This one is, too. It looks the same. Very nice. Going out to uh, Andrew and the Chargers on the Ladanian Tomlinson touchdown Masters Prism. So very nice. Got an LT and a run CMC. That ain't bad. <laughs> on the touchdown Masters Prisms. All right, how about a Marlon Mack and then a C.J. Henderson on the rookie for the Jags? And then a prism of A.J. Dillon, and that is Green Bay, which is Jason. Then a Ronald Jones, Tom Brady, Mike Evans flea flicker for the Buccaneers. Hey, Jay, what's going on? Happy Friday to you, sir. How about a Mike Jacecki? We've got a Pro Bowl of Kenny Galladay. We've got an angry little dog in the other room. <laughs> All right, next prism up is a Tyler Boyd. 
Very nice. Oh, yes. And it must not be giving her exactly what she wants. A nice Tyler Boyd for uh, Chris in Cincinnati. All right, how about a Vaughn Miller? And then a Chase Young, very nice. Chase Young on a rookie for Josh and Washington. Okay, Leonardo says, now I'm ready for that A.J. Brown on the jersey. So we'll try. We'll try. All right, so nice uh, Chase Young there, Josh. And next prism, how about a Ladanian Tomlinson on the uh, prism too? Very nice. So a couple of nice LTs in this one. Then a will to win on a Peyton Manning for the Colts. There we go. And then Mosaic Silver on the Drew Locke. So nice one for Denver. That is Brad. So the nice Mosaic Prism on the Drew Locke. A little uh, TJ Watt and then a Jim Kelly on a Hall of Fame insert. We've got a Pro Bowl prism of Kirk Cousins. Very nice. A little Minnesota love there for Jay. Of course, a lot of rumors going around that he's not going to be in Minnesota next year, but you know, it's that time of year for the rumor mill. How about a got game on a Darius Leonard? Then a Chandler Jones. Nice rookie of C.D. Lamb. Next prism going out to Kansas City on a Tyron Matthew for Josh. So a Tyron Matthew on the prism. Then a Barks. Is that? Yeah, that's it. Why aren't the silver prisms flipped? Usually the silver prisms are flipped. But that is a silver prism. So nice on the Barks for. Uh, there you go, Jay. Jay and the Giants. And you just, I mean, they look different, but usually they're flipped. So it's real obvious. And there you go. Nice Barks on the prism. Heck yeah. All right. And a Darren, Darren Waller. Try that again. There we go. Nice NFL debut of JoJo. So there you go, Chris. Get a little Joe Burrow for you on the NFL debut. Rookie insert. Got a big Ben on the uh, prism for Pittsburgh. That goes out to Carson. Yeah, the quarterback carousel is getting very interesting, Jay. So I was saying, man, it's crazy. See this many quarterbacks potentially on the move. All right, finish off with an old school of Roger Staubach for the uh, Dallas Cowboys and Dallas Eccleson. Roger Staubach on the Prism old school. So very nice. <laughs> That's right, Chris. Got to get that first one going. That's right. <laughs> At least get one in. Now I need to get that two going, right? Break the ice there. All right. So good uh, mosaic mega as usual. I uh, didn't find an auto, but that's, you know, no guarantees on those. Odds are against it, but we always hope. But not bad. Not bad. All right. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do the big boy. Let's do the Don Ross here. So a good chance, everybody, stretch your legs, grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm going to uh, take the time to get all of these open. So once we get started, we can just roll through the cards. Oops. And it will take a minute as there are 18 packs. All right. Nice Russell Wilson pack this year. I like it. I always like Don Russ, man. We pulled some crazy, crazy hits out of this box. 
It's like, I know you only get two hits, but, man, we pulled some good ones. We have definitely pulled some good ones. All right. Well, uh, just bear with me for a minute here, and we will get all these suckers open. We'll get going. All right, so we get, should get something to go up on our autograph stand here. Should get some uh, nice numbered cards. Should get a die cut or two. Uh, about what, six rated rookies. Maybe some canvas. Yeah, I like Don Russ. There's some good inserts in here. Uh, to me, the rated rookie is always a classic. Always like to have those of the big guys. And it's a reasonable set to collect. <laughs> Oops. All right. Whoops. <laughs> Let's keep those stacks. I know those all going one. All right. So there's stack number one. Big fatty in this one. There's something in that one. All right, so we might uh, put the middle stack for last because it seems like in Don Rush, you seem to get the auto and the mem out of the same stack. It's weird how it works like that. And it's not always, but averages. <laughs> so we may actually set this stack and do it last. But I could be wrong, too. <laughs> could be a big fatty filler. Who knows? But we'll find out in a minute. We will find out in a few minutes. Another downtown? Yeah. Glenn Den Danucci. Yeah. <laughs> yep, another downtown would definitely be nice. Those are, uh, yeah, those are hard pulls, though. Go with that. Uh, that, was, what, that was Peyton Manning. Go with that Peyton Manning. Make you work for it, though, in Don Russ. <laughs> That's all right. It's Friday night. Lamar downtown, Gabe says. Yep. So we did pull a Peyton Manning one. That was a few weeks back. Wasn't all that long ago. You never know. All right. Like I said, that I think that might be the hit stack there. So we'll put that towards the end. But you never know. Now that I said that, we'll pull them out of the first stack. <laughs> All right. There we have it. One full hobby of Don Russ. Got a drink here real quick. All right. All right. Good luck, everyone. Let's see what we can find. I right, got a Derek Carr. Ooh, I think we got a die cut. That's what we got. I can feel it. <laughs> Dee Dee Westbrook. Set it down for a minute. We got a Cameron Jordan, Russell Wilson, and a Michael Thomas. All right. So, how about a die cut press proof of Cesar Ruiz for the New Orleans Saints? 48 out of 75. So 48 out of 75. That goes out to David Luna and the Saints. He's got to watch these die cuts getting them into the, the pennies and the top loaders. It's funky corners don't always cooperate. All right, there we go. Last year's were brutal, man. They had like a hook on them. 48 out of 75. Gabe, now, now you're talking, I think 300 is what they want for them on all the websites. It's crazy. 
I thought they were nuts for wanting, you know, 225 when they came out. Sean Alexander on a power formulas, but it was an early set, though. That's when we were all uh, adjusting to the new pricing. <laughs> all right. And then an inducted of Troy Palomalu for the Steelers. So we've got a Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ooh, nice rated rookie of Isaiah Simmons. There you go, Jason. I always top load the rated rookies because, like I said, those are the those are the ones we really want out of the Don Russ. All right, Le'Veon Bell, a Cooper Cup, Trent Brown, and O.J. Howard. Got a Shaquille Griffin and a filler. Got here, nice Ricky Gridiron Kings canvas on a Justin Jefferson. Very nice. There you go, Jay. It's a nice one. Well, JJ from Minnesota. It seems like there was just a surge in all the pricing about a month ago, too. I don't know what happened. Like everything went up another $50 to $70. I don't know. All right, the rookies insert of T Higgins. So there you go, Chris, for the Bengals. T. Higgins on the rookies insert. Then a Drew Brees on a 2000. Oh, I love the canvas inserts, Jay. I think they're just really, really sharp cards. All the canvas ones. All right, got an Eno Benjamin for you, Jason. Yeah, the, the rookie kings and the all-time gridiron kings. And yeah. All right, little Aaron Jones. And a John Brown, a Derrick Henry. And a little Barnyard Bernie, Nick Chubb, and an Adrian Peterson. We've got a red press proof of Tristan Wirth. Tristan Wirth's going out to Tampa Bay. You know, he graded out very well as a rookie. Get to see him again. He's not done yet. Nice Elite Series rookies of Jake Fromm. Went out to Buffalo. And then a highlights of Debo for the Niners and Justin. I Yeah, it really is. Josh, yeah, it's like last year, you know, the average box was 100 to 150, I would say. And they're like, nope, nope, 300 is a new baseline. Now they're like, nope. Nope, make it four. I know, man. I know. It's crazy. You literally, on a lot of these sets, you can go back and buy 2019 cheaper than you can 2020. And just typically doesn't work like that. I mean, there's good rookies in last year. Like Phoenix is one of them. You can go out and buy 2019 Phoenix for a couple hundred dollars cheaper than 2020. Got a uh, John Hightower for the Eagles. Yeah, I saw Limited's pre-selling for 400 Panini One is pre-selling for like 600 bucks. Get the hell out of here. Tim Marino. Eddie Jackson. I mean, it's all good, but it's one car. Khalil Mack. Terry McLaurin. Philip Lindsay. And a Jalen Smith. I mean, how much are those Herbie's going to be worth? Whew. All right, got a nice silver press proof for you, Robert. How about a 12 out of 100 on a Cole Komet? Silver press proof rated rookie. So that's a nice one. Go in that Bears collection. 12 out of 100. Silver press proof rated rookie of Cole Komet. All right. How about a Dominators of Stefan Gilmore for New England? And then a 2000 of Michael Thomas. All right, Reggie White. Ooh, there we go. How about a nice rated rookie of Tua for you? So there you go, Chris. We'll be uh, break the ice there on Miami and the Tua's. Yeah, and that's what I mean, Chris. Like, man, that's a big risk for one stinking card. And then, I don't know, man. I just, I, you know, $600 a box. I mean, how much is the Tua going to be worth? Even if you pull one. Is it going to be enough to cover the case that it caught? I just, I don't know. 
Don't get me wrong. We'll have some. <laughs> I gripe about it and keep buying it. That's it. As long as we keep buying it. But, man, Chandler Jones, I see all kinds of people predicting a crash. And I'm like, man, I wouldn't mind a little bit of one. Bring things back down to earth a little bit. Danny Ann Mandola, I just feel like they're, they're working on pricing the average collector out. Melvin Ingram, Keenan Allen, and Noah Fant. Ooh, there we go. Canvas rated rookie of Joe Reed for the Chargers. So there's one of those gold canvas rated rookies. Those are really sharp. So that goes out to the uh, Chargers and Andrew. You know, I'm just afraid they're getting to the point where, you know, you can't, you're not going to be able to afford to do it if you're not flipping. And like, I don't like flipping. I like getting cards and keeping cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a order like that. All right. Got an elite series of Kenny Galladay. Part of the reason I like breaking, I get to see lots of cards and I know they're not mine. So I know I have to send them out before I even open them, but I get to see it. <laughs> Got a Derrick Henry. If I open them in their mind, I'm like, I don't want to sell them. And a base rookie of Damon Arnett for the Raiders. And we got a little Gronk. A Jonathan Joseph, little Julio, Warren Moon, uh, Oilers cards always go to the Titans, Kyler Murray, and a Dante Hightower. Another filler there. And nice. Got a red press proof of Aaron Rodgers. So very nice. Jeez, I did not, Chris. I did. You know, I remember seeing a story years ago that, or a year ago or so about a kid who, uh, yeah, like did something like that with a, a Zion, though. And same thing, turned around and just flipped it for a fortune. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, though. Traded into a Mahomes rookie and then tried to sell it for 100 k When you say tried to sell it. <laughs> Got a, a Demario Davis on an Action All Pros. Those are cool inserts for New Orleans. And then a 2000 of Adam Thielen. A base rookie of Ross Blacklock. And there's a Jason Kelsey behind that there. And that is the first stack of Don Russ. So we did find a nice die cut, a couple of numbered cards. So we're still looking for uh, two hits, though. So auto and a mem. So moving on to stack number two. All right. Kenyon Drake, Matt Stafford, Justin Tucker. We got a Drew Bledsoe, a Julian Edelman. There we go. Nice Marlon Mack, 407 out of 500. 407 out of 500. On the press proof. Some more top loaders here. He's offered 85. Ah. Whew. that's got to be hard to say no, but at the same time, like, oh, what if the next guy, oh, got a uh, Jason Taylor on a Legends series? That's crazy. Whew. And a Legends of the Fall on a Len Dawson. Yeah, it's not going down anytime soon, man. He could flop on Sunday and it's not going down. <laughs> I mean, come on. CJ Uzama. And a James Morgan rated rookie. Speaking of Chris, that's what I saw somebody. If he doesn't beat Brady this weekend, he'll never surpass him on the greatest of all time. All right, listen. First of all, you know, and then they talked about the Super Bowls. All right, I didn't think we used that as the only barometer because, you know, Dan Marino, blah, 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 Ernie Banks, all that stuff. <laughs> but come on, man. I said, I mean, 2017 rookie, this is what is. Fourth year. This is fourth year in the league. He is not his legacy is not set in stone at this point, either way. Like, come on. <laughs> guys are being ridiculous. It's, it's like rookie quarterbacks anymore, man. Ah, oh, by the end of the second year. Ah, oh, he's not in the Pro Bowl. Get rid of him. <laughs> uh, they used to never even think about putting a rookie quarterback on the field until he was a second or third year at least. Carlos Hyde. All right, I'll let you know, Jason. Carl Zide, Matt Ryan, Jelani Tavai. Have fun at the track, sir, if that's where you're headed. Dalvin Cook, Saquon, 
I know Jason likes hit dog tracks on Friday nights. All right, got a nice little uh, filler there. And then another canvas rookie gridiron kings. This one is a KJ Hamler. I know people are just impatient, man. Impatient. Like I said it's the next greatest thing. That's everybody wanting to move on from their quarterbacks. Draft another one. Now, they have had a lot of young quarterbacks be successful lately, but so much about the team matters. <laughs> All right, got an Adam Thielen on a Dominator, so that's a nice one for you, Jay. You know, I mean, situation and everything makes such a difference. Such a difference. So, Tyree Kill, and that's why I say with the Jets, man, I would keep building around Darnold. Put, give him a better team around him and then see what happens. It's hard to judge a young quarterback on a crappy team. <laughs> All right, got a uh, base rookie of Jeff Gladney. So I just did that. I better better move these stacks aside here. They're getting a little too tall. We just got a couple of brand new fillers. All right, how about a uh, Devin Bush? We've got a Darius Leonard, a Young Young Ho Koo, Richard Sherman, uh, Daniel Hunter, Golden Tate. There we go, a red press-proof rated rookie of A.J. Dillon for the Packers. So a nice red press-proof on the rated rookie. That looks cool with the uh, Green Bay colors. It's just a little different. So nice one, Jason. Oh, crap. Brand new pack of top loaders. What the hell is that? A big piece of fuzz or a buck or a bug or I don't know. We ain't using it. <laughs> that was down inside a brand new top loader. Oh, well. All right, got a uh, power formulas of Barks. Got a couple Barks. Right, that's exactly. And, I mean, I, not saying that Mahomes wouldn't have been good, but that helps so much. It matters so much. People expect a quarterback to go to a crap team and turn everything around. Russell Wilson. Hey, under, I mean, this is the NFL, man. <laughs> yeah, little bit of patience. You know, I wonder if Josh Rosen is. I think uh, New England should get their hands on Rosen. Go up there to New England and see if Belichick can do anything with you. All right, then got a Marlon Davidson and an A.J. Green. I just, you know, I don't know. Everything it's right now. It's, God, it takes time, man. D.J. Moore, Jack Doyle. Tremaine Edmonds, Greg Olson, Alvin Kamara, Greg Olson. We had a different pack, sir. What do you mean? Aha! Ah -ha 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 -ha. Yeah. How about a little aqueous test on a Greg Olson? You're not supposed to get the same card back to back that close together. Caught my eye. So there we go. A little Greg Olson on the aqueous test for David and the Seahawks. Nice hit. Nice hit. You will be the first one to go up there. And, yes, we're going to put you backwards. Just so everybody knows why I got that Don Russ base card up there because it's an aqueous test. So congratulations on the Greg Olson aqueous test going out to Seattle and David. All right. How about a little KJ Hamler on the rookies insert? You know, because Herbert, I mean, the Chargers are a better team. They're a pretty good team. Kyler Murray, I mean, they're not bad. I know the record wasn't great, but there's a lot of good pieces there. <laughs> you know, it's amazing that Burrow looked as good as he did on Cincinnati. Mike Jacecki, I think it's all the credit in the world to him. There we go. Nice Jonathan Taylor on a rated rookie. You know, Arizona wasn't bad. They went out and found the right coach to go with uh, Kyler. You know, Baltimore had a great defense and 100% tailored their offense to fit Lamar. So, Corey Littleton, that's why I love it. NFL teams hire a new coach and they come right in and change all the systems. It's like you do realize you need the right players to change scheme, right? DJ Shark, maybe you should change what you do a little bit. Jason Pierre-Paul and a Bobby Wagner. Jared Cook 
There we go. Nice. Gabe Davis on the uh, canvas rated rookie going out to Buffalo and Michael. I was, I was actually reading something about uh, Stefanski earlier, and that was one of the things Kubiak said that really impressed him was when they brought in a bunch of new assistants. That was the first thing he said is, well, you guys are all coming from a similar system, so I'm going to change the language of my system so that you guys know what I'm talking about. That way you're not learning a new system and a new language. Wow. What a crazy idea. Gabriel Davis just trying to help. You know, I don't know. Elite series on a Jimmy G, and especially for so many of these guys coming out of college, it's such a jump. I mean, I'm sorry. Ohio State does it all the time. It drives me nuts when you see the quarterback fake the snap and turn and look at the sidelines. Like, hey, you got to be able to think out there, <laughs> not look at the coaches for everything. So, yeah, they're going to struggle when they get to the NFL. All right, the champ is here on a Daniel Sorensen for KC. All right, off my soapbox. You got a Yater Gross Mottos for Carolina. All right, looks like I made the uh, right call on the power stack, though. Looks like we got our hits coming in the last one. Because, yeah, that's a filler coming. Zadarius Smith. Speak of the devil, Sammy D. Aaron Donald. Max Crosby. And Christian McCaffrey. And a Baker Baker. All right, another filler there. And we've got a uh, Darius Slayton on a red press proof. So a little Slayton on a red press proof for Jay. And the Giants. And we've got a Dominators of Lamar. And Amari Cooper, oops, maybe, <laughs> on a 2000. A base rookie of Kyle Duggar for the Patriots. And a Bob Greasy is the last card out of the middle stack. All right. So there we go. Let's set these guys aside. So we've got one more stack. Should have both the hits. I'm telling you, right? it's not always, but it seems like it's that middle stack too. And if you're buying packs at your local store, trying to send me a message what you want nothing all right good luck everybody two hits looking for an auto and a mem still all right got uh Camille correa and a cj mosley drew lock and amari cooper <laughs> and there it is da, da, da. brian edwards 210 out of 299 Going out to Jason and the Raiders on the Brian Edwards, 210 out of 299. Congrats, congrats. So there you go, Jason. Nice Brian Edwards. There we go. Get that auto up there. All right. Legends of the Fall. Nice on the Marshawn Lynch, numbered 8 out of 100. Eight out of 100 on the Marshawn Lynch. Goes out to David in Seattle. Very nice. All right, Jalen Rieger on the Elite Series rookies. And then a highlights of Frank Gore for Buffalo. One of his many stops, right? <laughs> we got a Miles Sanders. There we go, a Jake Luton. On the rated rookie. Yeah, all rated rookies. You never know. Could be the next Tom Brady. I don't think so, but hey, nobody thought Tom Brady was going to be any good either. Anthony Miller. Mitchell Trubisky. Montez Sweat. Unless you're, uh, what's his name, from Indianapolis. Yeah, we had a third-round grade on him. Really? Then why did he last to the sixth? You should have taken him. Austin Eckler in the third, fourth, or fifth round. Cortland Sutton. Got an all-time gridiron kings of Barry Sanders. I hate it when people say crap like that. Polian, that's who it was, Bill Polian. Well, we, had a, we had a pretty high grade on him. Really? Then why did you pass on him multiple times? Oh, we had a quarterback. And you couldn't use a young up-and-coming one? I don't know. Just nonsense. Nonsense. Nice, Barry. Going out to uh, Jacob and Detroit. 
a nice action all pros of Christian McCaffrey and a few run CMCs tonight. How about a uh, Bobby Wagner on a 2000? And then a rated rookie, or a base rookie, I'm sorry, of Patrick Queen, just a base rookie of Queen. The Cheetah, Christian Kirk, Kenny Galladay, LT, Stephon Gilmore, and Hunter Henry. Got a red press proof of Julio for the Falcons. They say they're not trading him or Ryan. Same thing, man. Ryan is not that old. Try to make the team better. I don't know. I just, people act like quarterbacks are just so easy to go out and get it. No, just, we'll just draft one. We'll just draft one. It's easy. Ask these teams that tried for 10 years. <laughs> Got a Godwin or if you're the Browns, 20. An elite series of Chris Godwin. And then we got a retro series of Earl Campbell. I just think people think it's too easy sometimes. You know, it's like the Bengals. All the Bengals fans want to get rid of Dalton. Like, got to have a better replacement. You can't just, well, just draft one. Okay. All right, got an Ashton Davis. If you're not picking top five, man, and even then, if you're not picking top at the top of the draft, a little Michael Vick for the Eagles. I just don't think you can count on. And even then, there's nothing that says the best quarterback in any given year is really going to be an NFL quarterback. All right, Will Fuller, Calvin Ridley, Barry Sanders, Sterling Shepard, and Willie Sneed. Phillip Fitta got a rated rookie, numbered rated rookie. Made press proof. How about an A.J. Dillon, 84 out of 500? 84 out of 500. Yeah, exactly, Chris. I mean, you just don't – but, you know, sometimes when you hit that middle of the road, guys, see how good you can make your team, you know, and you hope. It's either that or you completely tank to get a top two or three pick. I, I mean, there's really no <laughs> – Justin Jefferson, I think the Browns wasted a lot of picks on quarterbacks that nobody really thought were going to be franchise quarterbacks, but they were so desperate for one and – yeah. Instead of just just keep making your team better. How about a uh, George Kittle on a two thousand? Man, that is a thick card. Huh? Just really thick. Down to our mem. We got a Frank Clark. I got a Michael Pittman on a rated rookie for Jason and the Colts. Uh oh. Some more penny sleeves out here. Of course, we're about done with them. We hit the Valiant. We don't need anything because those are all sleeved. Of course, the jersey. All right, got a Phillip Rivers, a Josh Allen, a Lawrence Taylor, and an Adam Thielen. And here's our mem. Going out to Jay and the Vikes. How about a little Dalvin Cook on an All-Pro Kings 208 out of 299. So there you go, Jay. 208 out of 299 on the Dalvin Cook All Pro Kings. Monster thick card. Maybe not that thick. And it's every bit of 130. <laughs> There's no extra room in there. All right. Congrats, Jay. Nice mem hit on the All Pro Kings. Yeah, we'll put that guy up there. We're about to fill this sucker up when we get in the Valiant, but you know. All right, another uh, canvas rated rookie here. How about a Tyler Johnson for the Bucks? Tyler Johnson for the Bucks on a canvas rated rookie. So, congrats, Justin. Nice one. Got a legend series of Troy Palomalu. And a Legends of the Fall of Patrick Mahomes. And then we got a rookie of Jalen Johnson for the Bears. Oh, yep. Open some pennies here. There we go. Right, Benny Snell 
Uh, Julius Peppers. A little Peyton for the Colts. Tredavious White. Debo. Randy Moss. A red press proof rookie of Young Ho Koo. For the Falcons. Helped me tremendously in one of my fantasy leagues. It was money. <laughs> We got a Dominators of Aaron Donald for the Rams. And then a Donruss 2000 of Aaron Donald for the Rams. And then we'll finish off with a base rookie of Nate Stanley and a John Ross on the veteran base. All right. So we got the Brian Edwards, we got the Dalvin Cook, and we got the Greg Olson Aqueous Test. So not bad. Like I said, it's, you know, Don Ross, they only give you a couple of hits, but you usually get something else like that, like a really low numbered die cut or an aqueous test or something good like that. Uh, Brian Edwards is nice. The Memorial is nice. So not bad. Not bad. All right. Valiant and Jersey. But I think before we do that, you guys know me. We've got to find a few extra cards to throw in here. So let's see what we got. All right, let's do this. We got a nice big fat pack of playoff. So extra forty cards here. Uh, Optichrome blue parallels. So we're looking for some Optichrome blue parallels. So again, thank you everybody for joining me tonight. Thank you for checking out Breaking Boxes with Scotty. I appreciate it. So we're just gonna open a few extra cards and see if we can find anything fun. We'll get back to the main event. All right, let's look through, rip through some uh, vets here. All right, got a Nick Chubb, Austin Eckler, Andre Johnson, Nikhil Harry, a Ryan Tannehill, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Joe Thomas, Zach Cunningham, Jason Taylor, Jonu Smith, Mark Andrews, a Brandon Cooks, Albert Wilson. Josh Allen, Joe Namath. And we got a kickoff of Zach Cunningham. So that's one of their parallels. A kickoff of Brett Favre. Again, one of their parallels. A base rookie of Denzel Mims on a goal line. I'm sorry, so that's one of their parallels also. A goal line of Denzel Mims. There we go. Nice uh, rookie wave. I like these inserts this year. How about a uh, Jalen Rieger going out to Philadelphia and Barbara Sowers, Philadelphia, on the Rieger. It's a nice rookie wave. So definitely a uh, cool insert this year. They stepped it up. These next ones are good. And this looks like the uh, Optichrome Parallel. I'm guessing this next one, this blue, just that call to arms. They don't usually have that color there. Yeah, it's not numbered, so I'm thinking that is the uh, Optichrome Blue Parallel. So nice little Carson Wentz also going out to Philadelphia and Barbara for now. I know a lot of a lot of trade talk about him and the Bears, right? I saw somebody actually posted something that they traded him for Foles and a couple of picks, and I'm like, but I haven't seen. Then I could I went looking, I couldn't find anything about it. I'm like, eh, somebody talking trash. <laughs> All right, got a Dalton Keene. How about that though? If Van Jefferson, if they sent Foles back, and I think Hurts, they want to give Hurts the green light. Kenneth Murray, build around him on that cheap contract. Got a little Anthony McFarlane for the Steelers. A Terrell Lewis for the Rams. And a David Montgomery, Tampa Tom. Brian Dawkins, Luke Keekley, Will Disley, Zadarius Smith, and Eric Dickerson. And then a Ryan Kerrigan, Alvin Kamara, Michael Gallup, Adam Thielen, Terry McLaurin. <laughs> nice all stop in the old school Buccaneers uniform. And a Saquon Barkley. All right. All right. So nothing crazy, but a, a nice call to arms, the rookie wave of Rieger. Yeah, 
We'll take it. We'll take it. Some rookies. Heck yeah, why not? All right. Let's see. I can move the fillers aside because, uh, like I said, Valiant's already top loaded. In fact, we'll get one graded out of there. So that'll be nice. And then the jersey. All right. Dun, dun, dun. I like Valiant. It's funny. When they first advertised Valiant this year, they were going to do a regular five standard five card leaf box four regular autos and one graded and then they and they were going to do the jumbos which were going to be uh nine autos and one graded and then all of a sudden they just switched and went middle ground there's only one box so that's why they actually have a sticker on i mean it's so you can feel it, it's a sticker so seven autograph rookie cards plus uh autographed graded card so it's kind of funny though that they they kind of switched midstream there as weird, <laughs> but I kind of like it. Eight autos, what the hell? Why not? All right, so let's get this bad boy open. Good luck, everyone. So that's one thing I definitely like about Leaf is that they I like the seals better than just the shrink wrap. There we have it. All right, hopefully we uh. Won't have to bust out the phone tonight to look too many guys up. We know most of them at this point, but they still get me every once in a while. All right. So here we go. Let's make some room here. These guys up top. So we'll have to add a bunch of autos. All right. We know number one, rising stock. Got a rising stock going out to Gabe on the Devin Duvernay. So look at that. Nice on card. I love that signature. That is one thing that I like with Leaf, man. All the on card. Give that guy room to sign his name. That's gorgeous. So much better than the stickers. 31 out of 75. So very nice, Gabe. Nice Duvernay. It's a great looking auto. Number to 75. It's a nice hit for Baltimore. There you are, sir. Congrats. All right. Got another rising stock. And another rising stock. This one goes out to Brad and Denver on the Albert O, Albert Okwabunum. Four out of 75. So four out of 75 on the Albert Okwabunum. Going out to Denver and Brad. So congrats, Brad. So start off with two rising stock autos. All right, so there we got just one of the uh, base autos. One of the base autos. This one goes out to Kansas City on the Shea Patterson. That's where he ended up signing. Shea Patterson. Ooh, four out of ten. Four out of ten on the Shea Patterson. So, again, that goes out to Kansas City, and that is Josh. So, congrats, Josh. Yeah, this next guy, I'm double-checking here. Okay. <laughs> All right, got another rising stock, but this one looks orange, so it's going to have a different numbering on it. Going out to Paul in New England, how about a J.J. Taylor? Got a J.J. Taylor, and that goes out to New England, so let's look at the number since it's orange. Yeah, 25 out of 50, so the green were to 75. The orange is to 50. So I got a uh, J.J. Taylor that goes out to New England. Oh, I'm going to have to check this one here. All right, sorry Google's being slow, but I got it now. <laughs> also going out to New England, how about an Anthony Jennings? So Anthony Jennings is also New England, and that is 18 out of 50. So there you go, Paul, back-to-back -back New England cards for you. On the J.J. Taylor and the Anthony Jennings. Congrats. Was that five? 
Got a few more here. All right. Going out to Chris T. Higgins. Ah, we got close, Chris. Got you a nice Higgins. 11 out of 25. Very nice. But I think Higgins is the bonus of chasing Burrow. I mean, he's a good wide receiver. T. Higgins. So he's got a chance to be good, too. I guess it's like uh, chasing Baker in 2018. You know, uh, uh, Chubb was the bonus. You, you Chubb Baker or you chase Baker and you got a bunch of Chubb, too. So, all right, 11 out of 25 on the Higgins. So I think those are worth holding on to. He is a good wide receiver. All right. Speaking of good wide receivers, Justin, how about a Brandon Ayuk for you? So a nice Brandon Ayuk for Justin and the Niners. 30 out of 75. Got you a couple the other night. And we got you a couple. I got you another one. So congrats on the nice. Got a chub chasing Baker. Heck yeah, every time. <laughs> 30 out of 75. Man, that's funny. I've been, I don't know. I've been chasing in breaks. Like, I, I love getting in breaks with mini helmets and stuff. I like that. And I've not gotten my baker yet. I've thought, I've hemmed and hauled forever about just outright buying one, which I should have because, man, the prices have doubled in the last couple of months. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. So I'm going to take this out here so I can get this. Eh, actually, the slab. Yeah, I see. Yeah, there we go. Get that out of here so I can get the slab card out a little easier. All right, it is a 9.5 gem mint. A 9.5 gem mint. And this one goes out to David and the Seahawks. How about an Anthony Gordon on a green? So Anthony Gordon on a 9.5. 23 out of 75. So that goes out to David and Seattle. So congratulations. Yeah, I know, Chris. That's why I was laughing, too. I'm a 12-year-old when it comes to that stuff, too. <laughs> Finally realized at some point in my life, if I haven't started laughing at fart or stopped laughing at fart jokes yet, I'm, I'm, I never am. So, all right, there we go, everybody. That was the Valiant ended with the Anthony Gordon there. So good little run. Helped us fill up that autograph stand for sure. So we have got the jersey left back there. So let's uh, do a quick review of the autos. Nice big stack of one or uh, top loaders there. So let's review what we got here out of the uh, autos and the big hits, and then we'll do that jersey. All right, so little Anthony Gordon ended us out there on the 9.5 coming out of Valiant. You know, nice Brandon Ayuk, the J.J. Taylor, and the Anthony Jennings where we hit back-to-back -back on New England. We had, I like the uh, Dalvin King, or Dalvin Cook on the uh, All-Pro Kings and the Aqueous Test of Greg Olson. We had the uh, Brian Edwards early at the uh, Shea Patterson, Albert O, had the uh, Devin Duvernay, and the T. Higgins also coming out of Valiant. So overall, nice collection of autos. Oh, you guessing Breeze, Chris, on the uh, – is that what you're guessing for the jersey? That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> Stoked to pull a Breeze. All right, let's get this out of here. All right. All righty, guys. So I am going to be – we'll be off all weekend, Super Bowl and everything. Um, back next week, I think – I actually think I'm going to list an eBay break for Tuesday night. Maybe do Tuesday, Thursday next week. So uh, just keep an eye on my eBay store. You should see something going up. Uh, listings going up tomorrow, actually. I'll probably put them up for both of them. But uh, thank you again for joining me tonight. and Enjoy the weekend. Super Bowl. But first, let's do this. Let's do this. Now let's see here. Let's cut the shrink wrap here. And we'll come back and get that seal here in a second. All right, so as always, obviously an NFL jersey goes to the NFL team that that jersey is. College jersey for an active player will go to their current team. College jersey for a retired player will go to their longest tenured team. 
And if we happen to pull something crazy like that quarterbacks of the century with multiple players on it, we'll get out the Planko board. But the big one is the college thing. If it's a college jersey, it's whoever they played for the longest. Uh, Jay, if, honestly, if you made me put money on it today, I'm taking Tampa. Taking Tampa. I, I'm taking them in their defense. And it comes down to one thing. Tampa is going to be able to get pressure on Mahomes without having to blitz him. Uh, you don't blitz Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> I don't care how much you believe in numbers and statistics and all that. You don't blitz Patrick Mahomes. It doesn't work. He eats you alive. Tampa, Tampa should be able to get pressure on him without having to rush extra passers. And that I, I think that will be the difference. I think it's going to be a close game, and I think Tampa wins. All right, everybody. Good luck. I think that's the first time I've said that. Like, I've really made up my mind and said that. That's what I've been thinking for a while. So, all right, here we go. Let's break this gold rush seal. All right, good luck, everybody. It'll be kind of funky as we all get to take a look at it here, but we will figure it out. Oh, shiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, that's pretty sick. I think you guys will figure this one out pretty quick, too. So I think the school, it's obviously it's a college. And I think we can all tell what that is. Oh, yeah. No messing around about it. That is a Cam Akers, Florida State. Yeah, there you go. You can see by the uh, neckline. That's what I thought of when I first saw the colors was Florida State. So that is a Cam Akers. So that's an easy one. That goes to Rebecca and the Rams. So congratulations, Rebecca Palmer. Get you a Cam Akers, Florida State jersey. Make sure, uh, yeah, that COA is in there. So there you go, your little uh, Beckett authentication. So congratulations. Nice Cam Akers, Florida State jersey. I'm not going to unfold it any more than that. I don't want to – I like to see the name and everything to confirm it. But that is clearly Cam Akers. So that's an easy one. So congratulations, Rebecca. Pack that back up for you. Get you a nice Cam Akers, Florida State jersey headed your way. All right, everybody. Well, that's that. So, like I said, I think I'm going to post uh, eBay next week for Tuesday and Thursday. You know, Chris, and that's the other thing. I Tampa, Tom in Tampa, he has got the biggest chip on his shoulder he's probably ever had in his career this year. Out from under the Belichick shadow, the New England shadow, you're done. He's washed up, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, I wouldn't be surprised if he has one of the best games of his career. He's got such a chip on his shoulder. He's not going to be – everybody's talking about Patrick Mahomes, the GOAT. Dude's in his fourth year. Brady's like, are you kidding me? Do you realize I've been in the Super Bowl almost half the seasons I've played in the league? And you guys want to tell me this guy is the greatest of all time? Get out. So, I, there you go. There's my official pick. I'm taking Tampa straight up. <laughs> all right, everybody. Have a good one. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the game. And I hope to see you all soon.